April is a month of Good Friday and Easter. As we celebrate the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus, let us ask God to bless this month with His goodness, His mercy, His peace and His blessing. So let us begin with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Prayer for blessings in the new month of April. O Almighty Father God, You are the King of kings and Lord of lords. All glory and praise is Yours. All the angels bow down to You. The sun, the winds, the waves move at Your command. I want to come into Your presence with reverence and thanksgiving. You deserve all the glory I can give You. I am so grateful that you have chosen to take me to another wonderful month. In recent months, many have died in conflicts between nations. Others have died of various ailments. May they rest in peace and may you be a consolation to their families. It makes me realize how lucky I am. Lord, Thank you for protecting me these past few months. Thank you for protecting my family and friends from all these dangers and leading us safely into this new month. During this new month, I ask you to bless me so that I can live in a way that pleases you. Please open the right doors for me so that I can progress in my life. Help me meet the right people and create the right connections in my life. Bless me with new ideas so that I can prosper just as you have helped so many others prosper. Lord, I ask for forgiveness for all my sins of the past month. I know that there are times when I have misused your gifts and talents. I'm sorry for the times I got angry and used harsh words. Please be merciful to me and forgive my sins. I will be mindful in this new month and forgive others when they wrong me. Merciful God, I have many things that trouble me. I humbly ask you to improve the situation of my life during this new month. I trust in your love and mercy towards me. I know that only you can solve all my problems. I ask for this particular grace in my life during this new month. At this moment, please ask for whatever you need and believe in your heart that you will receive it from God. Write it in the comments as an act of faith. For this new month, Lord, above all, I ask for your presence in my life. I need you more than ever. I want to be close to you. You are my protector and my shield against all the trials of life. Without you, I am nothing, and my weakness needs your strength. Secondly, I ask for your blessing to restore and bless my finances. Give us today and for the whole month our daily bread. Please meet our needs and wash away all our anxieties. May we be free from worries and place our full attention onto you. Next, I ask you to bless my relationships. Please bless my family colleagues at work, friends and everyone I meet in this new month. Help me find favor with everyone. Give me the courage to evangelize and spread your name. Help me to be courageous like the prophets and your servants who preach your word. I ask for your protection from all harm during this month. Keep me safe in your care. I entrust my life into your hands. I know that no one, not even the devil, can take me away from you. Your love is faithful and your mercy is eternal. Finally, 
I ask you to take care of my special request and need that I mentioned earlier during this prayer. Lord, I need your help in this area of my life. Please be merciful to me and guide me to the straight path. You are a holy God and I want to be holy like you. Please remove this problem from my life and fill me with your grace. May your blessing remain with me throughout this new month. Now we will say a psalm asking for forgiveness to prepare our hearts for Good Friday and Easter and for this entire month. Psalm 51 Have mercy on me, O God, according to your unfailing love, according to your great compassion, blot out my transgressions, Wash away all my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions, and my sin is always before me. Against you, you only have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight. So you are right in your verdict, and justified when you judge. Surely I was sinful at birth, sinful from the time my mother conceived me, Yet you desired faithfulness even in the womb. You taught me wisdom in that secret place. Cleanse me with hyssop, and I will be clean. Wash me, and I will be whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones you have crushed rejoice. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquity. Create in me a pure heart, O God and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me from your presence or take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and grant me a willing spirit to sustain me. Let us pray. Lord, I want to thank you for sending Jesus to save us from our sins. During these days of April, I want to focus on your forgiveness and mercy. Just like the psalmist says, please create a clean heart in me during this month. I know that you love those who have a pure heart and a clean spirit. Please do not look at my sins, but send your Holy Spirit into my life. With the help of your mercy, I believe that I will be made clean and I will praise you and thank you throughout this month. Thank you for hearing my prayer. I believe I will have a good holy week and a blessed Easter this month. Amen. Finally, my brothers and sisters in Christ, we will say a prayer of the Holy Cross to prepare our hearts for Good Friday and Easter. We will ask for God's forgiveness and mercy for our family and the world, calling to mind the greatest sacrifice of Jesus our Lord. On a hill far away stood an old rugged cross, the emblem of suffering and shame. And I love that old cross where the dearest and best for a world of lost sinners was slain. Oh, that old rugged cross, so despised by the world, has a wondrous attraction for me. For the dear Lamb of God left His glory above to bear it to dark Calvary. In the old rugged cross, stained with blood so divine, a wondrous beauty I see. For it was on that old cross Jesus suffered and died to pardon and sanctify me. To the old rugged cross I will ever be true its shame and reproach gladly bear. Then he'll call me some day to my home far away, where his glory forever I'll share. So I'll cherish the old rugged cross, till my trophies at last I lay down. I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it some day for a crown. Let us pray. Lord, I thank you for your mercy displayed on Good Friday and Easter. 
My heart is overwhelmed with thankfulness and I think of your great sacrifice on the cross. You shed your blood and gave your life for my sake so that I could have eternal life in heaven. No matter how hard this life gets, I will keep trusting you, my Lord, and I will praise you and thank you with all my heart. Amen. Friends, I pray that you will have a good Friday and a beautiful Easter Sunday. Come back to say this beautiful prayer for the next seven days and ask God for His mercy and blessings during this important month. Share this prayer with someone who needs God's mercy for April. Subscribe to get inspiring prayers. Click on the bell button and select all. Thank you for joining me in prayer and may God be with you throughout this month of April.